Okay, guys, we're back. I was talking with the audience about ordering a new PS5 controller. Because we're having all these USB issues, and now I don't have a backup controller and stuff. All right, here we go. So there's a lot of enemies in this cave, if I remember correctly. Like, a ton of enemies. Yeah, see, they're hiding out. These beast men enemies. Kevin Key says, I have the purple, it's cool. King says, I have a pur purple controller, really cool. Comes with a wallpaper? <laughs> it comes with a wallpaper? Be wary of the damn humans. They're big fat jerks. And they can't get out and do for giant damage. Well, that sword's better. <laughs> Those damn humans, man, they're jerks. A nascent butterfly. I don't need that. It's a piece of shit. La la la. What wallpaper does it come with? Not that I'll ever use the wallpaper, but what, what, what wallpaper does it come with? Ooh, I'll use Golden Rune 10. I won't use nascent butterfly, but I'll use Golden Rune 10. Item way up there. How do I get up there? Even caterpillar or something. There. Yeah, they're all over. Blowing flower things. Ah! Shit! How do I get up there? Yes, I can. Fuck! Yes. Whoa, Heroes Rune 2. That's going to be like 20, 30,000 runes. Sweet. It's a universe looking space thing that moves with smoke. Cool. I think I do need a new controller because this thumbstick is starting to have drift issues. I noticed it recently in the last week playing this game that the camera would all of a sudden go a little wonky. I'm like, what is it doing? Like, I didn't tell it to move that way. So I think that I need a new one. What the? The message disappeared. My target lock. What is that? Nice. Not here. Now what is over here? No rushing in ahead. Yeah, don't do that. The big beast man, right? Yep. Better kill them slowly. Definitely, definitely like that it goes through walls. That is stupendously good for that sword, that it goes through walls. Oh, I did hit him. Nice, he hit him anyway. It had an ice effect that knocked him out of the sky. Dude, this is a pretty good uh, spell. I like this spell. Thank you for recommending it. I forgot who just recommended it, but whoever did, thank you. It's actually very useful in this cave. The messages keep disappearing. Did you see that? Why do the messages keep disappearing? I walk up to them and they just go. What is up with that? Spiritual arrow and a rune arc. Should I use a rune arc? Holy shit. I never use rune arcs. <laughs> I totally forgot about them. 
I, that's the first time I used one since I returned this year to the game. I forgot they existed. I have 20 of them. See how the camera's going did the, the, the jittery? That's not me. That's my right thumbstick. But I think my right thumbstick is fucked up. And it's gonna keep having drift. Because I'm not doing that at all. <clears throat> Boon back. Wait, this is where I came from. I'm gonna go this way. Aha. Secret way to that down. Cool. Dabhan says, I said that I bought Rune Arc ages ago. It hasn't come up since. Yeah, I totally forgot about them, so might as well use one. down where the uh the angry jellyfish are i don't know why they're so angry i haven't upset them the spit on it that's disgusting Kella's Lily. Crystal darts. Throwables. What's wrong with my controller? Well, first of all, I just found out the backup controller that I had for years that I thought worked has a melted thumbstick that doesn't work. I can't use it. This one is getting stick drift. So I need to get a replacement so I can have a better controller for everything. Look ahead. Three of the left. Wow, that's a lot of death. Across the bolus. Look my bolus. Bolus a molus. Oh, look, I didn't do that. That was the thumbstick. It looked up. I didn't, I'm not doing that. So that's what I mean. It's fucking up. There be a dark butthole. Oh, here's the dark butthole. No save. Seriously? No save. That sucks. Oh my god, it's doing it. See, I'm not doing that. It's fucking up and doing it by itself. That's terrible. Oh, uh, fuck. I don't have... Yes, I do. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna try to nuke it. Let's see what it is. Oh my god, come on. He hits for so much, man. Now I gotta go through the whole fucking cave again. Oh no, there's a Snake America. Thank god there's a Snake America. Very smart that they put that there. I was like, dude, don't tell me I have to go through that whole fucking cave again. So I can get half of his health off right away. I can't get past it. Oh, that's just dirty. You tried to give me the spritz. I don't appreciate that.
sucks is all my fucking souls are in there too, right? All my runes. <laughs> Maybe we'll just go for straight up, try to stun him, stun him with rock slam. My fucking runes back, so I lost like 40k there or something. Yes, the sword is good. I remember I tried using the sword in my first run. It was decent. I almost had him. The thing is, I don't know when he's gonna stagger, so I just kind of keep spamming the fucking Broxling spell, which obviously isn't ideal. I want to walk, walk up and get that visceral. He's staggered, but... Every enemy's a little different, too. Like, they don't all stagger with exactly the same amount of hits. I think it depends on their poise rating. So some will stagger a little bit sooner. Some stagger like, with an extra hit. <laughs> What's up, Batgirl? So looking forward to tonight's co-op stream. It's for Elderman. You got this. Thank you. I'll try again. It makes no sense why that fucking guy would have it. Just like the sword earlier in the game, right? You kill the other beast man, and he fucking has a great sword too. It's like, what the hell? He stole it. He stole it from the fucking line of people, whoever it is. Ugh. Every boss is different, man. Everyone, you gotta use the different magic. Oh, I know. The Dark Moon Swords R2 magic is great. It's beefy, and you recommend it. I, I know it's good. I know it's good. I basically have a million things I can use in this build that are all really good. So. Okay. There's some deep lore. Rad Radagon gave the Misbegotten that sword. Oh, yeah. Still heavy load for the best. The best degree. I want these, of course. 47 poise. That's what I want. But we're not going to be able to put those on for a bit. Okay. 
All right. Well, we gotta kill this stupid octopus asshole now. Locking the door. I want to get to, uh... I want to get to the optional boss. The other one. There's, like, a lizard boss. Optional lizard boss at the very end of this river. I want to fight that now. Right over here it comes out of the waterfall, I think. Yup. was it you fucker asshole is back I gotta kill him every fucking time oh, this is a pain in the ass Probably can't nuke this thing. It's gonna tank me. That's not what I want, but I want to do this. Got him. Good shit. Damn, almost 200,000? I got almost 200,000 fucking runes. Holy shit. I was not expecting to get that many runes for that fight.
cool. Well, damn, time for some more levels. Time for some more fucking levels, dude. What's funny is you get a dragon part for that, and it's like he's not even a dragon, right? Like, he's really not a dragon. One of the worms that's different, but I don't know why you get a dragon uh, reward for that. Darjax, I think you should do the Astral fight next. You think so? Oh! So we have the somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone, and now we have the regular Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. So two different final crafting stones. All right, well, we're doing pretty darn good. I think we should get out of this area. Uh, for now, we could come back, and all you gotta do is kill the stupid octopus, and you could go back here to do stuff. I don't know where the other point of grace is. I have no healing, though. So let's go back to this one. I think I might actually go back and level up my sword to max level now that I have the final smithing stone that I need for it. In fact, let's just do that now before I forget. There we go. Turtle Dude, thank you. 32 months as a member, and he says, Shell, yeah, nicely done. Thank you, Turtle Dude. Uh, Felix the Maid says, level up this sword or your magic wand. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to maximize either the sword or the wand, right? Uh, Pizza Box has ever considered doing challenge runs. We already talked about those, that... I'm not opposed to doing it, but no one really seems to care about them when it comes to my content. You know, everyone has a different gimmick. I don't really have a gimmick of, of challenge run stuff. No one really has ever asked for it. Well, I took you for no match. Lay out your own. So, I guess I could do either, right? Either one is the somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Uh, I mean, what do you guys think? It looks like a 11... 12, 13, 14, like a 14 damage increase, 15 damage increase physical, and a, wait, no, 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 I'm off there, it's a 11, no, it's 15 increase physical, and a, one, a 15 plus, like maybe 30 damage magic increase, right, pretty good. And then this would give me... Oh, it's, it's about 23? And a sorcery scaling as well. I mean, they're both good. It's both really good. Either one is going to help my build, right? And then we got to find the other one. We got to find the other somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Aren't there only two in the whole game or something like that? It sucks because obviously I want to max both. But I don't know if I could do the other one. I don't know if we can do the quest line. For it at this point in the game, right? Use the staff way more. The staff is going to be worth more. You think so? If they announce Gears of War 6 in June, am I excited? Uh, I mean, I've played every one. I've played Gears of War 1 through 5. I don't know why I wouldn't play 6. Uh, staff? Staff. We did it. Now we got to find another one for the sword. But now my magic will be super buff. The other uh, somber smithing stone is in Halley Tree. Oh boy. <laughs> Great. Of course I need 5,000 more. Why wouldn't I, right? Nope, still heavy load. We get one from Nef Nefli Lu. Nefli Lu. That's a quest line. That's what I was saying. That we get one from a quest line, right? Oh shit! I can actually equip Lionel's Greaves now. We're getting there. And then the heaviest one, Bull Goat, which gives you 47 points. <laughs> Let's go for Lionel's Greaves. We're basically just putting on better equipment now. See, I don't know, with Aldrich Bracers, 
I don't know if there actually are better bracers for like magic boost, right? They don't boost magic, do they? I don't think so. How do I see the description? Here you go. Strengthens thorn sorceries. Yeah, see? No. I'm, I'm basically going to be looking for things that are going to uh, improve, improve my other stats. I don't care about thorn sorceries. This gives me more poise. Battle mage manchettes. Or traveling maiden gloves are actually way better. Yeah, I could put... I could actually put on a lot of these different ones. That'll give me more poise. That's what I'm looking for. Poise. So I don't get interrupted when doing stuff. These are all heavy load down here. These are sorted by weight, I see. Okay. So... Looks like the highest poise right now is 45. That of stuff I can equip. Godskin bracelets or godskin... A noble or apostle bracelets. It looks to me like the apostle is better. Or vulgar militia gauntlets. Let's do godskin apostle bracelets. Okay. And this we want to keep because these are these buff. Yeah, see? This buff stuff. I think, doesn't it? Doesn't this buff stuff? That's why we're wearing it? I think it does. Increases intelligence and arcane to the detriment of stamina. This maybe doesn't buff anything, does it? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just for looks. It doesn't? We're just wearing it for looks? I mean, let's change outfits. I'm tired of this one. Change it to the Lusat's robe. Or a different... We've got a different robe. This is 45 poise. I don't want to reduce my poise. Nope, everything else gives me heavy load. So, let's change to this one. Do shots for a while. Yeah, that's the highest I can do right now is 45. So, as we continuously get endurance up, we'll either go to the highest greaves or we'll, we'll maybe change our robes up a bit. We're definitely, we were wearing the, the hat because of the intelligence and arcane buff. Yeah. Okay. I received a $10 tip. From Tarantula MS. And he says, hey, Phil. What's going on, Tarantula? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by and saying hello and supporting. As always, I hope you're having a good weekend. And uh, hope you're enjoying the Elden Ring second run as we go through it here and melt people with magic. That was fun fighting the giant lizard with the fucking... The Comet Rain spell or whatever that was. That was really cool. I just kept pelting him with a million hits. And he was so big he couldn't get out of the way. That was very fun. I could be wearing better talismans. What do you think? Did I? Like what? I've got... Raises maximum HP, stamina, and equipment load. Which is super useful right now. Storm spell casting time. Very useful. Raise attributes but also increase damage taken. Again, since it raises so many attributes by so much, it's useful. And raises intelligence. So what what could I be wearing better than that? I don't think I have the better ones. Right? I don't think so. I don't have a lot of the better items. We never found them in the run. If I had them, maybe. But I don't think I have them. Bird tree is useless. What are you talking about? Why would this be useless? <laughs> Why would this be useless? What are you talking about? I don't need stamina, HP, or equipment load. Those are horrible things to have in this game, of course. Maybe Sword Seal for the Curling Dagger? Where's the Curling Dagger? What is the Curling Dagger? I don't see a Curling Dagger. Do you? I don't have that. See what I mean? Like, unless you mean dagger talisman, enhanced critical hits? I don't know what you mean. It doesn't help you build, like, the magic scorpion charm. It's the one that gives me epi when you crit. I don't have I don't have it. Auto healing? The auto healing is such a low auto heal that I never found it useful. I never bothered with it. Okay. Um... 
So, okay, we're done here, right? We did our levels. We're gonna head back. Final area is the giant's area here. We didn't get the map yet. Uh, all right, so we go here. And I guess we have different areas, Astel or Moog, right? We can unlock those areas. This guy says, I'm curious to see what you think of the dungeon you missed if you decide to use it. You mean this one? You said there was one over here to the right? Should I just go look for it? I've never found it before, I don't think. I don't remember it in my first run. This takes me back to the beginning, so that's probably not. Maybe hook the wall here? Oh, you're right. It is Gunner Glasses, guys. Thank you for reminding me. I forgot about the Gunner Glasses. Never fear. I will put them on. I just... Getting absent-minded. I'm too excited to play more Elden Ring. <laughs> I'm too excited to use all these variety of spells and abilities to kick ass. Like, that was so cool. The raining stars coming down, hitting the, the lizard guy. That was super fun. We're gonna kiss this wall here. He's in southeast, right? So like here, this area. How the hell did that hit my horse? Now we're spinning stone eight. Far just a wall. Probably why I never found it. If it's really against the wall here in the in the snow, I probably never looked. Looking. Caravan in the snow. Dude, it keeps looking up by itself. That's not me. That's the controller. It's really screwed up. It keeps looking up. Up here? Probably up here. A rousing double kill. Uh, or not. The lily here, that's about it. Nothing there. Where is this place? nothing. The Roly homing the wall. Looking for anything. Our material is broken. I don't see anything. Flower. Visions of an underground tomb? Oh, it must be here. Oh crap, I never found this. Oh, I definitely did not find this in my first run. No, I don't remember this at all. It's an optional, one of the optional dungeons. Yeah. I never found this in my first run. Now, I don't know if it's worth doing. It's just a catacombs, right? But I never did it. There's a few of these that I skipped in my first run. At this point, they become so just labyrinthian and very time-wasting that I really didn't do a lot of these at this point in the game. I skipped a lot of them. So, I don't know if you guys want to see me try this or not. I've never done this one before. Trap. 
Short range bow, so it's gonna shoot shit at me. America, so that's good. This whole place is full of this shit. Well, good thing I found the Seal of America. Dude, this thumbstick keeps looking up now. Oh, no. It's one of these dickheads. It's one of these fucking dicks. He's gonna hammer the shit out. Oh, the Seal of America didn't activate? Ah, oh, fucking fuck face fucker fuck. What a bunch of fucking bullshit fuck. Activate. What? What a cheap hit. for a bolus? Yeah, this is stupid. I don't think I want to waste time on it. As you can see, it's super annoying. There's probably no good reward in here that I need for my bill, right? This is going to be so dumb. Like, I appreciate that they put so much content in the game, but geez, some of it is just so fucking stupid. Oh, we, dis we deactivated it. Now it doesn't happen anymore. Okay. Oh, of course I whip. Sure I do. I'm not whipping now, because that goes to the fucking wall, bitch. Ugh. All right. make the most insanely annoying, tedious, stupid, fucking punch you in the balls, optional dungeons. And that's what they've done at the end of the game. That's why I started skipping them. 
Because I was like, dude, I'm, I'm really like ball busting here. They finished the dungeon. And they're not even fun, and there's nothing in them. They're just fucking full of bullshit. That's why I never did these. Fucking ball buster bullshit. And then he dies to the column. The column kills him. What the fuck? I didn't even do that. Damn, see, that was a thumbstick trap. Does he look like he's near me to hit me with that? This is trash. This is why, again, this is why I stopped doing these completely. They're not even fun. This is, hey, hey, what are you doing today? Well, you know, I could play something fun. I could go fight with a story boss. No, just do this dungeon for four hours. At the end, you'll get, like, a fucking stupid Lily's tulip or something. Oh, oh, he's a garlic. That's your reward. Can't run past him. I think you have to kill him to get the lift to stop doing that. Because I don't know how else to get out of the room. The other room is just full of the little dudes and no way to go up. So I think you have to ride that lift, but I don't know how to stop it. Dude, he just insta kills you no matter what. Literally, if you try to fight the little dude, he just insta-kills you. <laughs> wow. It's guaranteed insta-kill. Jesus fucking Christ.
don't think that guy did enough damage. I think he should have done more. Like maybe 99% damage on that guy would have been appropriate. I can't move. I'm stuck in place. It looked like an illusory wall behind him. I guess it wasn't, but I don't know where to go now. I don't know where to go. Ugh. What did I even get? I didn't even get to see the item that I got. I have no clue what it was. Look at this fair burned damage. Very nicely designed dungeon. Stuck on a candle. And I'm in my ass with frostbite. And now I'm dead. <laughs> Stuck on a candlestick. Can I, you're a hero who can cast cosmic magic that can either rain the stars down on your opponents or melt them into dust with a Kamehameha burst. You're wielding an insanely huge magical dark moon sword. Right? You felled demigods, giant monsters, dragons. But a candlestick. Now that's some serious fucking business. You can just not get by that candlestick. It just stands right in your fucking way. And man, good luck bullying your way through that shit. Right? dead end here. Look, the whole room is a dead end. There's nowhere to fucking go. There's literally nowhere to go. It's just all dead end. Yo, this is fucking garbage. Well, who, again, it's like people at FromSoft were like, well, we want a long game with tons of content, but they never stopped to think, is it good? No, this dungeon is not good. This is just unfun trash. If I want to punish myself, I will literally take a board and smash my, butt, my ball sack over and over. I don't need to have a game do this for me. You know, I can just fucking play something that's fun rather than this dungeon, which is why, again, I skipped all these dungeons. At the end, there was just zero point to doing any of them. It was apparent they didn't give a fuck about the quality of them. They just wanted to pump a million of them in here to claim that the game is so long, but the dungeon quality is shit at the end. These are really trash dungeons. Compare this with the real, what they consider legacy dungeons, the story-based dungeons, and the story-based dungeons are super good. into the bowl, couldn't walk on it, it glitched. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I should have never even done this. This is just a complete waste of time. It adds nothing to the playthrough to do this shit. It's such a waste.
Does anyone know where I'm supposed to go at the end there so I can just fucking beat this? Once I get to the column and at the top of it, do I jump on it? Or do I go a direction? Like, I don't know where to go there. The way I went was a dead end. I need to know where to go to finish this right away so we can get the fuck out of here. Roll. I press roll. I know he's there. I press it. Look at that. He rolled and still got hit. He got hit during what was supposed to be the iframe. That's amazing. A plus two arcane helm for doing this. Wow. Okay, I need to ride the column, this guy says. So, I was on the right track, but I flipped through the column, which shouldn't have fucking happened. It's a stupid glitch that that happened. Again? Yo, he fucking fell off again. What do you want me to do? I, I don't make the physics mechanics of the game. He clipped through the edge of the column again. Like, I did something wrong. What the fuck? Tell me I was on it. I was on it and it didn't go up. <laughs> what a piece of shit. I'm standing on the column. First, I clip through it. Then I clip off the end of it. Then I'm standing on it and it won't go up. I don't make the column go up. The game does. So the game needs to fucking work. He didn't knock me off. It didn't move. I was standing on it and it did not go up. So he didn't knock me off the column. The column just didn't fucking work. This is also what I mean about the game. Like, the dungeons that are considered legacy dungeons seem very well designed and they all work perfectly. These dungeons don't. Because you can tell these dungeons, they, they designed so many of these shitty side dungeons that are meaningless that they didn't probably practice as much with them or, or test them as much. So half the time, this shit doesn't even work right. Again, it didn't move. The column did not move. What do they want me to do? The column won't go up. It went up the first time that I stood on it. Now it doesn't go up anymore. Jump attack onto it. Oh my god. Like this? Then I'm gonna fall off because I have a giant weapon. Right. Amazing gameplay. Love it. <laughs> this game is fucking stupid after time, man. Fucking dumb. It's a masterpiece and a, and a joke at the same time. With, with, again, this dungeon and these enemies are complete shit. But parts of the game are like so cool. This is just like zero effort put into this. Literally zero. They just didn't get it. on it. I clip right through the edge. Great gameplay.
Yeah, I need to split the part, but I'm trying to fucking get through this. So where are we even going now? Down there? I don't even remember where the boss door is. I forgot. I think it's back down there, right? Putrid Grave Warden Duelist. Rotten Gravekeeper's Cloak. I did not get that in my first run at all. Absolutely not. Alright, and now we're gonna split the part. <laughs> well, I got it done. It was super fucking annoying, but I got it done. Ugh. No save point? I guess not. We gotta go to the entrance to do it. I got an imp helmet as well. I did. It didn't show it. All it said was a cloak. The save point. Okay. What's that cloak that I got? Anything special? Uh, well, doesn't help my poise at all. Rotten Gravekeeper Cloak. Thick bristly cloak eaten through by Scarlet Rot, the symbol of an underground Gravekeeper station. I have no shirt on. Well, <laughs> where'd my shirt go? Well, that's stupid, but all right. That would look like He-Man or something, right? You see his, his greaves off his, his underwear, like, exposed. Look, you see his balls? But he has, like, metal legs on. Wow. This is very impressive stuff. Nope, this is still... That's the best one. It's still heavy load. It's gonna give me a four, four more poise, so... 
All right. We shall continue in the next part. Holy moly.